their scores. So the diver with the highest score from prelims, that was Sarika Halstead. She'll be diving last in eighth position. And diving first will be Madison Kieser. Kaiser, I believe is her name. And those of you who were watching prelims heard me making several attempts at her last name. I promise you I will get Lindsay Staszewski correct on every time I announce her name. So just a few more warm-ups for these ladies, and then we'll be off and running with 48 dives to determine the women's one-meter Patriot League champion. Okay, so that was Madison's first dive. Sorry, 4-2 Somersault Pike. Getting some sixes there. And Heather Yoshi's up now, and she's doing a back dive pike. Sixes and six and a half for Matt Heather's first dive. And next up, Lindsay Staszewski from Loyola doing a back one somersault with one and one half twists. We saw this dive a lot in, in the prelims. She's rewarded with sixes and six and a halves on that dive. Next up, Lizzie Tillo from Boston doing a back one somersault with one and one half twists. Same dive. I'm sorry, she did a four two somersaults pike. Sorry, I got a little confused there. Sixes and six and a halfs and a few five and a halfs. One judge even gave her a seven. Next diver, Caroline LaPlante from Colgate. Doing a four, two and a half somersault in the tuck position. Five and a half and fives from the judges. One judge gave her a six. Our next diver, Megan Gertis from the Naval Academy. A back one and a half somersault in the pike position. Sixes and five and a halfs for the judges on that dive. Megan Fennell from Lehigh University is performing a back one and a half somersault with one half twist. Sevens and a couple of seven and a halves. Great dive for Megan there. And here's our leader after prelims. Again, they're all starting from zero. zero Sarika Halstead. 
for two somersaults. And some five and a half and sixes from the judges. Megan Finnell leading after one round, 44.10 points. Ready for the second round now, and it's Madison Kaiser doing a forward two and a half somersault, the pike position. Six and a half, some sevens, and a couple seven and a halves for Madison. Heather Yoshi's up next for two somersaults, Pike. Same dive we saw Serica do and just a couple dives ago. Heather gets a little bit higher score. Five and a half and sixes. Next up, Lindsay Staszewski doing four, two somersaults, Pike. Same dive. That's going to be for Lindsay. Fours and four and a halves. A couple of fives from the judges. Lizzie Tillo, four, two and a half somersaults. A little bit harder dive, that extra half somersault. And she gets sixes and a couple sevens from the judges. Caroline LaPlante, next up. With a back. One and a half somersault in the pike position. Three good entry. And she's rewarded with sixes and five and a halves. Megan Gertis now from the U.S. Naval Academy. It's going to be doing a forward one and a half somersault with well, forward one and a half somersaults in pike position. Reverse, excuse me. As you see there is reverse. Sixes and some fives, mostly fives. One judge gave her a six, and one judge gave her a four and a half. Very different scores. Megan Finnell now for two and a half somersaults in the tuck position. And she gets some five and a halves, fives. The judge gives her a six. And now it's time for Serica Halstead. She's going to be doing a four, two and a half somersault in the pike position. Saw Madison Kaiser do this earlier in the round. And Madison had a great dive. And we'll see what Serica gets on this. Four, six and a half. Only sixes and six and a half. So Madison Kaiser, who's up next, she's leading after two rounds. As we said before, restarting to zero, anything can happen. And Diver, who came in here eight qualified eighth, is now leading. She's about to do a back one and a half somersault pike. Very clean dive. It's definitely going to keep her in contention. Six and a half and four sevens. Yep, she's definitely staying in the hunt here. And it's Heather Yoshi's turn. Back one and a half somersault in the pike position. Just a 
same dive that Madison just did. They may not score as high. Should be a good scoring dive, though. Four, six, six. Some sixes. Six All sixes six except six for one six and a half. Lindsay, Next up, Lindsay Staszewski from Loyola. Back one half somersault pike again. and fives and a half. Five and a half for Lindsay. All right, so we got it next up. Lizzie Tillio. Tillo, reverse, one and a half somersault. And she gets sixes and a couple five and a halves and one six and a half. Caroline LaPlante now. Same dive, reverse one and a half somersaults in the tuck position. A little bit cleaner entry than Lizzie. We'll see if she gets rewarded for that. Sixes across the board and a six and a half, so almost equal. Megan Gertis up next. Four and one and a half somersaults and one twist. Very clean on her execution there. She should be well rewarded. Sevens and six and a halves. One judge gives her a six. She's checking out her dive on the monitor that's just behind the diving boards. Megan Finnell now up for a inward one and a half somersault in the pike position. It's our highest degree of difficulty dive in this round. We should get some high marks. She does some sevens, seven and a half. One judge gives her an eight. One, whole, one high score and one low score gets thrown out. So that eight gets thrown out. Sarica's next. Four at one and a half somersault. And six and a halves and sixes for Sarica. Madison Kaiser still holding on to a lead just by about three points. Going into round four, she's about to do a reverse one-half somersault in the tuck position. She's having a great night here on the diving boards. And she's continuing to have that six and a half, two seven and a half, and one seven. Heather Yoshi's next. Reverse one and a half somersault in the pike position. Same dive that Madison just did. So it's interesting that Heather and Madison are almost matching each other dive for dive here. They're going to be doing the same dive in the next round as well. So you'll kind of see the comparisons. So yeah, some fives and two four and a halves and a four for Heather on that dive. Lindsay Sashesky, reverse one and a half somersault in the pike position. And we'll see the award for Lindsay. I don't think they show, they're showing an award for that one. We're moving on to Lizzie Tillo. Inward one and a half somersault, from Pike. Four, five, and, a half, six, six, 
And she gets some six and a halfs. A couple five and a halfs and a six. Caroline LaPlante now doing an inward one half somersault pike as well. And yes, inward one half somersault. Sixes and a seven. Caroline on that dive. And we got Megan Gertis coming up for a forward two somersaults in the pike position. And Megan's dive gives her fives, five and a halfs, and sixes. Megan Fennell now back one and a half somersault in the pike position. Very good dive, sevens and two six and a halves. That just may be enough to put her into the lead. Let's see how Sarah Halstead responds with reverse one and a half somersault in the pike position. That won't be enough to put her into the lead. Again, she was leading after prelims. Kind of been faltering a little bit here in the finals. And not sure they're probably doesn't look like okay, there they are. Sixes and some five and a half for Serica. So yes, it looks like we got Megan Fennell now leading going into round number five. Madison Kaiser holding on to second, and she's about to do an inward one and a half somersault in the pike position. Get some high marks, sevens, one seven and a half, but mostly six and a halfs from the judges. And Heather Yoshi is next with the same dive, inward one and a half somersault in the pike position. Giving us the opportunity to compare the two dives. So that looks almost identical to what Madison did. Let's see if she gets some six and a halfs as well. And she does. Actually, a couple judges give her sevens, mostly six and a half, and some sixes. She's just fallen so far behind that to be able to score a little, even if she scored just a couple points higher, that gap between her and Madison is too much to, to close. And Matt, Matt Lindsay Staszewski up just finished a forward two and a half somersault tuck. She gets some fives, a couple five and a halfs from the judges. Lizzie Tillo up next, the back one and a half somersault in the pike position. Five and a half and fives for Lindsay. Lizzie, excuse me. Caroline LaPlante from Colgate now doing inward two somersaults in the tuck position. Four, five, seven, five, 
Mostly fives, a couple of four and a halves, and a five and a half for Carolina on that dive. And we have Megan Gertis here. Ready to do a forward two and a half somersaults in the tuck position. And the over rotation is going to definitely affect her scores here. See how it shapes up. She has some fives, four and a halves. It's a very tough dive. She definitely will still get some. That's why she's still got some good points for that. And Megan Fennell now reverse one and a half somersault in the pike position. Again, another over rotation. So that's going to affect her, and she actually now slips into second place, two and a half points behind Madison Kaiser with one more diver to go in this fifth round. Serica Halstead, a back one and a half somersault in the pike position. Pretty good dive. Let's see if she can bounce back and get into contention here. All right, so going, that was six and a half and a couple sevens going in for her. Going into this last round, it's a tight battle for the championship. We've got Megan Fennell and Madison Kaiser here. Madison Kaiser just two points ahead of Megan Fennell. This is her back one half somersault with one half twists. She needs to score big. Fairly good. Some sixes and five and a halves. One judge gave her a four and a half. Next up, Heather Yoshi from Military Academy doing a back one and a half somersault, one and a half twist, just as Megan did, or Madison did. And she gets fives and sixes. And one judge, judge gives her a five and a half. And right now we've got Madison Kaiser. Looks like she is going to be maybe leading. She was leading after the fifth round. And these ladies are definitely not able to put up the dives that are going to catch her. But Megan Fennell coming up soon. She's going to try. We had a seven from that die for Lindsay and a couple of six and a halves. Next up, Lizzie Tillo. Back one half somersault with the half twist. Same as we saw Madison and Heather do. That's a pretty good dive. She gets some sixes. One judge gives her a six and a half and a few five and a halves. And Caroline LaPlante now ready for the same dive. Actually, it's a one and a half somersault with just one twist. So fewer somersaults on that one. And five and a halves. And a four and a half from a judge and a couple of sixes. Megan Gertis, inward one and a half somersault pike. Sevens and a six and a couple of six and a half for Megan. All right, so Megan Fennell, she's the only one who could knock Madison Kaiser off the leaderboard here. Forward one and a half somersault, one twist. That might do it. We'll have to see from the scores. She did it. Two, 
And that's seven and a half and sevens from the judges. The Lehigh diver pretty much going to be your champion. We got one more diver left, so don't celebrate just yet. One more diver. We could have something special here from Serica. And we're going to have Somersault Pike. Not likely, but anything is possible. It's a good dive, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Megan waiting for the final score. And there it is. There's your champion. Megan Fennell, Serica Halstead had a great last dive, and she actually catapulted into second place. And Megan Fennell from Lehigh University is the women's one-meter champion. And the Lehigh students were there cheering her on every dive that she did. Pretty gutsy by Serica Halstead also. The Balled back into second place after kind of bobbling on a couple dives. To get within, she actually got within three points of the of the of the win there. And then Madison Kaiser, who came into this eighth, eighth place, she's the one who gets into third. So that's why it's great to have these scores wiped out to zero. Everyone starts at zero when you start, gives everyone a good chance to win. Madison Kaiser for a couple rounds was winning, but Megan Fennell popped in a great last dive. So here come some of the highlights.